Hello, I am Adrian for Ease Meditation. If you are new to meditation or want to check in on something to do with technique, then please visit our How to Meditate section. There's lots and lots of practical information and some personal insights from our members. Find a comfortable position. Usually try for a symmetrical, relaxed position, sitting or lying down. Today's meditation mindfulness exercise can be used for relaxation. This coffee shop meditation is for mindfulness and creative thinking. We call it reading the tea leaves. And now, close your eyes. Take a moment to shift in your seat. Get your feet flat on the floor and straighten your back. Try not to cross your legs so that your hips and spine stay straight. Make sure you are in a comfortable and supported position, somewhere you can be without needing to move or shift for the next 10 minutes. Just settle in. Now take a moment to close your eyes and move your attention to the breath. As you are in this meditation, always allow your breath to be deep. Let your belly move and expand with the breath. Allow your lungs to fill. Breathe in deeply, breathe out fully. In and out, in and out. Good. Remember the breath is always there for you. If you ever become distracted or overwhelmed, you can switch your attention back to your breath to allow you to reset. Now, why do we call this meditation reading the tea leaves? Is it because we're going to teach you divination? No, quite the opposite. There's nothing mystical to learn, just the practical exercise of using items around you to deepen your focus and mindfulness. Can you think of a movie where you've seen a fortune teller decked out in shawls and scarves peer over a cup of tea? trying to divine the future. She stares intently at the dregs of the drink, and from them she begins to see pictures and form opinions. You've probably done something similar with the clouds. Oh, can you see the horse? This one looks like a pirate ship. This is our exercise today, to look at ordinary objects in a new light. Go ahead and gently allow your eyes to come open, and look around a bit. See if anything nearby draws your eye. We'll be looking at this item very intently, so it's best not to choose something that belongs to someone else or that might make it look like you're staring at people. Choose something that you can focus on intently without feeling self-conscious about that focus. Perhaps the wood grain on your table or the crumbs left over from your pastry or a ring or watch you're wearing. If you've gotten tea, you can even do a literal tea leaf reading. The choice is yours. This is your meditation. Now whatever item you have chosen, look it over. Notice the big things about it first. The shape, the color, the texture. Take a few moments to notice these general features. Get to know this object. Now, as you do, your mind might drift a bit. All of a sudden, you realize you're thinking of a date you had last week, or when the light bill is due, or something else totally unrelated. When this happens, don't get down on yourself. This is a normal part of meditation. Notice that your mind has wandered and consciously redirected. Come back to the object you've chosen to focus in on. This is the practice of mindfulness constantly noticing how your mind wants to race ahead or lag behind and guiding it back to the present moment where it belongs. Back to your object. Focus on the object again. This time, mentally zoom in on one detail. Notice a single fine point, a bubble in your coffee, an interesting line in the wood grain. Allow your focus to bore down into this fine point. Get as much detail as you can out of this tiny, tiny facet of the larger thing. Notice again the shape, texture, and color. Notice how the light plays off of it. If there are any areas of shading or highlight to it, your whole attention only on this.
Good. Now allow your attention to slowly move around the item you have chosen. Notice additional crumbs on your plate, or the place where your drink meets the edge of your cup. Notice the play of light. Notice areas of shadow. Notice crumbs or the shape of the ice. Focus intently on seeing everything there is to see about this object. Fill your awareness. Good. Now allow your attention to slowly move around the item you have chosen. Imagine just how we described above that you're going looking for hidden images. Just like clouds in the sky or fortune teller's tea leaves. See if you can notice familiar shapes in your object. The human mind has an amazing knack for pattern recognition. It is how we do this see animals in the clouds. It is how we get articles online saying someone has found a potato chip shaped like a celebrity or religious figure. If we don't take it too seriously, though, it can be quite fun. Allow this part of your mind free reign to search out interesting patterns, to creatively notice faces, figures, letters, or shapes in an ordinary object. It's okay if it's a bit of a stretch. And it's okay if you see nothing. Just notice that as well. Good. Now go ahead and gently close your eyes. Come back to your breath and make sure you are continuing to breathe deeply and fully. Take another deep breath and one more. And when you are ready, open your eyes as this meditation comes to a close. We have reached the end of the guided part of this meditation. Gently bring yourself back from your bubble. Come out slowly. If you want, Continue meditating on your own time.